hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going on a very long adventure the first location was this rail park it's like a theme park that's super far out in um, from the city of Seoul and we had to get there really really early because just like most things in South Korea there is no refunds if you show up late or if you get lost and it was really difficult to get to this place you had to take two different trains and it took about an hour to get here but it was so worth it so it looks like the park is desolate it wasn't a whole lot of people at first I think we were the first ones here but once people started to show up you could tell why this place really was a good idea to put all the way out here We basically had to pedal on this abandoned train track and I underestimated how much work it was going to take, but it was really fun. We were the first ones in line, so we were like miles ahead of the other groups, which is kind of a good thing because if the people in front of you are going slow, you have to actually keep a specific distance according to the rules. Each of these little tunnels that we went into also were pretty cool because they had all these like little flashing things. It was really fun. I will put a flash warning up for those of you that have epilepsy or trouble with your eyes because um, there's some that were just like strobe, straight strobe lights. But this was really cool and there was music playing and I could feel this could be really romantic if you wanted it to be romantic. finished and made it to the final destination here no pun intended we got on this cute little train and we were driven to the closest station it is a bit of a walk to the main station but they do have a shuttle to take you back to the park so that you can go to the other station that is the closest to the park but we decided to walk the 10 minutes to the station just to cut out on having to get on the bus because yeah we were just not wanting to get on the bus This really nice gentleman actually helped us and walked us halfway to the station. He was so nice, you could tell he really loved his job. Okay, so we just finished with the cycling. That was really fun. Now we're heading towards Nami Island, like the main area. I don't know what we're doing next, but we're gonna go get some food. I am tired because I just had to walk 15 minutes up a hill. I don't think I could live in Korea because the way my ankles are set up, the way the lack of exercise I do, I just like I would die. But there goes everybody else. <laughs> The next destination is Nami Island. So this island was really, really cool. There is two ways to get there, by boat and by zip line. We unfortunately chose the boat. I would definitely love to do the zip line, but <laughs> it was raining this day, so I could imagine that probably was really not okay. But this island is very interesting. So Nami Island is a theme park island based off to the side of Seoul City. Basically, this theme park doesn't, this island doesn't really know what it wants to be. There is a like makeshift petting zoo. There are art installations everywhere. There's a park. There are games for kids. There's park rides for kids there's segways for adults to get on they also had peacocks everywhere so i don't know what what was up with that it's very clear that nami island is a tourist destination for specific times of the year we happen to not be there at the right time this island was made popular by a 
Korean drama. I don't know what it is, but I will try to figure out what it is and I'll pop it on the screen somewhere. But yeah, it's really popular for its like vegetation and it's like gardens and these huge trees that look like almost like cedar wood trees, but skinnier. And yeah, it was, you could tell that this place had a very specific fan base. I, I couldn't really tell what this island wanted to be, whether it wanted to be a park or a theme park or a zoo or a lake or a scenic. It, I couldn't tell what it was, but overall it was really nice. I will say that the food here was fantastic. I got to eat this really delicious marshmallow ice cream that I watched her like burn on fire. It was so good. Probably not a good idea because it was cold, but it was delicious. Perfect idea because it was nice and delicious. It came down from the roof. After we finished with Nami Island, we had to take a taxi and quick word about this taxi. It was, the man was dressed like a shaman. There were the leather, there was leather all in the hair. It was, it was wild. He was watching YouTube. It was insane. So the next day we were up really, really early and I just want to go ahead and throw in a content warning for people. This next part of the video, it deals with the um, DMZ and there's a lot of really heavy stuff that we learned so a lot of this stuff here is really sad and honestly i truly didn't know the extent of anything that happened to korea before this trip i didn't really know too much about it but after this trip and this experience i will say that i have a deeper respect for south korea definitely um but yeah I highly recommend that you guys hit up uh, the TripAdvisor people. Our tour guide, Dennis, was so helpful. He was so efficient. And honestly, we got to see a lot of really cool things and a lot of really sad things. So just keep in mind that this is a culture's history. So please don't be disrespectful in the comments. Thank you. We're supposed to do a boat tour after this but our boat tour got cancelled because I think that we were the only three that wanted to go so um, yeah so we ended up going to this lake and doing the walking tour which was hell because we already did so much walking and I will explain briefly what the DMZ was like I couldn't film a lot of it because obviously but there was a section where you had to walk down to the tunnels. It was the most extraneous thing I've ever done, I swear. I was, it was horrible. Hi guys, Editing Autumn here. I just wanted to pause the video really quick so I could explain the situation at the DMZ. So basically there are four tunnels that North Korea dug to get to Seoul, South Korea, and they were all infiltrated, they were all stopped, and we got to go into Tunnel 3. As you can see in the picture, Tunnel 3 has two technical parts to it. There is a slope that goes all the way down, and then there's a smaller tunnel that takes you to the like border point of where the tunnel connects to North Korea. So, going down this hill, was very tough as you can see from the second picture it was not easy to get down and i highly recommend that if you are old or you have any type of disability or if you're like me and you're out of shape or you have asthma don't do this another reason i would say don't do this is if you get claustrophobic very quickly this is not the situation you want to be in so just FYI, take that with caution. We had a short time to get there. So when you get down into the 
tunnel, it's pretty narrow. You, everybody has to wear a hard hat. You can't have your cell phone. So I couldn't take any pictures. That's why I have these photos from Google. Um, and then when you're finished and looking and exploring as much as you can, because it's basically like a line of people, you're going to have to be really quick. You have to go back up. This is where the hard part lies. Having to get back up that massive slope, I believe was about 75 meters, which is like, I don't even know how many football fields. It's just, it was long. It was a very long way up. I highly recommend that if you take your time, breathe. If you need to, please let your tour guide know that like, you don't do this every day and if at any point during this you don't feel it you're not feeling it just turn around it's okay but yeah I just wanted to stop and explain that stuff so I will let you guys keep watching Okay, so today me and Sienna are going on a solo, well, duo adventure. We're doing a lot today. So we're gonna rush and get to this airport train and I will show you guys what we're doing when we get there. So I'm excited. It's a girl's trip. <laughs> Not that the boys are bad, they're really fun. But I think everybody's tired. <laughs> it has been, what, six days? Yeah. yeah so I think I think everybody's tired I got to sleep in this morning and it was great I loved it <laughs> Okay, so we just finished with the color for you or color of you. That was really cool. I was pretty spot on with what I knew my color was gonna be. There were some surprises. I didn't realize that this is like baby. We got to stay away from the grays. <laughs> but Sianna, what did you think? It was really fun. Um, I learned a lot about my skin tone and my color and what works for me, so it's very yeah. useful. And we had Minji and the translator was Dale. De Dale. They were really nice. So now we're gonna go shopping because now that we know what colors work for us, let's go do some shopping. <laughs> and I'm getting hungry. You do. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach was like growling during it and I was like, oh, shut up. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys. After our color experience, we went to get pizza. This was my first time having deep dish pizza and I honestly should have gotten it in Chicago because it was not good. Child, it tasted like ravioli was on, like ravioli sauce was in the deep dish pizza. So like, yeah, I, I should have known better, but this was a girl's day. So we were just gonna be having a good time in Hong Day. We decided to stop by a few stores. We stopped by Etude first. I will say that Etude is owned by, I believe, Chinese people and they will follow you around the store. Just FYI, it's very creepy. But of course, like I said, I've been to Olive Young like four times on this trip. I loved it. I got so much stuff, especially SPF. You need your sunscreen. But I was so excited to like see and find all the different colors and stuff that the color experience and color theory testing like said would work best for me. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do do a little bit enough to make my face look a little something something. So yeah, I did a lot of damage at this store, honestly. And then we moved on to other stores like this Too Cool for School. This place was so cute. Honestly, it was just adorable. Um, the lady here has really good sales tactics. And then we got food. And this this was so delicious. I, I will forever eat that. It's amazing. Eat that. It's amazing. You're going to like it. Look at the juice. This just squirted. It was insane. Yes. And then we went to do karaoke because me and Sienna, what we do best is sing. Well, not me, because I kept getting really horrible scores, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Plus, it was a good way to kill some hours. And yeah, after we did the singing, I think we shopped around just a little bit more. And then after that, we saw some street performances and we headed back to our Airbnb to meet up with the guys for dinner.
for dinner, we ended up going to this restaurant that our Airbnb host had recommended. And honestly, best barbecue experience I have ever had. The food was amazing. Much better than the last, the last place we went in the previous video. But yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. And you guys enjoy me eating this kimchi. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.